Do you need a ratchet with a hole in it? Let's find out. This is the Milwaukee 3050 or 3050 and it's their M12 Fuel Insider Extended Reach Ratchet. And it takes these funky sockets right here, which are very low profile once they go inside the head unit. Let's check this thing out. It's actually pretty cool and has more features than just a different head. Let's dig in. This is the Milwaukee model number 3050. So 3050, you can get it as a dash 20, which is the tool only, but not really tool only because the tool only also comes with the sockets. Uh, or you can get it in 3050-21, uh, which would be the ratchet, the insider ratchet, uh, the sockets, and the charger, and the 2.5 amp hour high output M12 battery as well. So this is the M12 Insider Extended Reach Box Ratchet. As you can see here, there's no anvil here on this end. So you see we have a big open hole there, actually a hex there that uh, passes all the way through. And then we have special sockets to go in here. And you can see it comes with the socket kit. It comes with the metric sockets, but you can also get an SAE set of sockets as well. And it comes with everything from an eight all the way up to a 19. So eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, all the way up to 19, skips the 20, and then we get a 21 millimeter as well. You also get a quarter inch hex adapter, the quarter inch adapter, quarter inch anvil or square adapter, and the three eighths inch square or anvil adapter as well. So you can run your own sockets, you can run your own quarter inch hex bits if you want to, or you can use uh, the supplied sockets with it also. Now, what's cool is all the way up to 15 millimeter, we get a pass through socket. So you can see we actually have a hole all the way through the socket. And so if you're you know, running all thread, things like that, yes, you can pass that all the way through. On the SAE, that's also going to go all the way up to a 9 16 uh, But then after that, once we get to 16 millimeter, it's no longer a pass through. So 16 all the way up to 21 in order for it to hold up to, uh, you know, uh, bigger stuff. We can't have that hole in there anymore. So up to a 15 millimeter, up to a 9 16 you're going to get that pass through hole in those sockets. And again, whether you get the bare tool or whether you get the kit, the sockets are supplied with both of those. Now there's several different cool features that is different from their typical uh, M12 ratchets or extended reach ratchets or even their high speed ratchets or high speed extended reach ratchets. And that is we get 350 RPM. Now, if you know the speeds of the different ratchets uh, in their family line, if you will, uh, this is faster than the original uh, fuel series, but slower than the high speed. The high speed is 450 RPM and this one's down just 100 RPM to 350 RPM, but it's still faster than the original series. So again, not quite as fast as the, uh, the M12 fuel high speed ratchet, but faster uh, than your typical M12 ratchet or M12 fuel ratchet. But we also bump up in torque where this had 35 foot pounds of torque. Uh, the Insider ratchet has 60 foot pounds of torque and they're really doing it with about the same size head. Now it looks bigger, but we're actually gonna measure that here in a few moments. Uh, and you can see the switch here from left to right or loosen to tighten, very easy to flip that. The other cool thing here is if, if you'll notice this, same paddle switch as the, as the other ratchets, okay? So we get the same paddle switch, same lockout here. But if you'll notice here, we have two LED lights. Why do we have two LED lights? Well, with this pass through, we can run this on this side and have your typical ratchet. We can also flip this over and go to this side and have this same motion. But what that does is that enables us to change the location of that paddle switch. So if you're in a precarious situation where that paddle switch is actually getting in the way of you working, you can flip that socket around to the opposite side and now you can work from the other side to get that paddle switch away from whatever you're working on and we still get the LED light shining on that area. So that's why we have two or dual LEDs to make sure regardless of which direction or which orientation we're using the ratchet, we still have that light shining on the area. Same M12 uh, fuel gauge there. So when the battery's in, we pull the trigger, we see the fuel gauge of the battery. Let's take a quick measurement of this tool. Okay, so from the top of the ratchet or the head of the ratchet to the back of the battery, 
we are looking at right at 16 inches. Yes, dead on 16 inches. Now, just for comparison's sake, if we take the 3 8 2965 extended reach ratchet, about 15 and a quarter. So we're getting another three quarter inches of length, and you can see most of that is actually in the head or extended reach version of the actual ratchet. Now, if you take a look at these, it looks like the original extended reach ratchet has a smaller head than the insider, but I'm really not sure. So let's go ahead and take a measurement. So 29 and a half millimeters or 1.163. Let's measure that again. Yeah, 1.166, 1.167. So just a touch larger, not much at all. So it looks like a couple of hundredths of an inch, if that. So maybe one and a half hundredths or 15 thousandths of an inch bigger. So 1.178, 1. 1.160. So depending on where you're measuring this, very, very close in measurement between the width of this head versus this one. And I still like the flush design we have, so we have no directional mechanism getting in the way, just like this one where you have the, the flush mount. So I really like that. They're tucking that out of the way. Even if you're on this side, you can see the switch really doesn't protrude much above the actual surface of the ratchet. And as you saw, if you needed to kind of protect that or move that out of the way, now you can put it down there and it's really not bothering you at all on this side. So another reason why having that access to both sides really comes in very handy. Now something else that's interesting, let's uh, put in a 15 millimeter here. So we've got the 15 millimeter in, 15 millimeter on this ratchet. And now you can see the difference in the height there between the 15 millimeter that's on the insider ratchet and the 15 millimeter that's on the high speed extended reach ratchet. And of course, that's probably gonna change even more as you go up in those sizes and they incrementally get a little larger on some of those sockets. And to get a measurement of that, so we'll take a measurement here. So 1.65 and 2.046. And let's, we'll go to the metric side. So 51.8 millimeters. and 40.6 so 40.5 and 51.6 so quite a bit of difference in the depth of that so when you are in a tight area where you're trying to gain access having this insider slimmer ratchet can definitely benefit especially with the ability to swap that around and get that paddle switch out of the way now, in addition to the 350 RPM, we also get a variable speed uh, trigger or paddle switch. So you can see we can really make this thing go as slow as we need to. Or we can grab a handful and get that full 350 RPM as we need it. So the question is, is the hole in the center actually big enough for, uh, for a pass through? And the answer is yes and no. There will always be bolts that are kind of out of the norm, if you will. but. I took uh, three different 15 millimeter head bolts out of the same vehicle and just to show you this. So I believe this was out of, I don't remember what this one was out of, um, but you see it fits obviously the 15 millimeter head and the actual bolt will pass through the actual socket. This one the same way, I think this is a head bolt and it will pass all the way through and it's a 15 millimeter head. However, uh, this is, I believe, a suspension or maybe even on a uh, cross member bolt. Um, and this is one where the actual threads are a little bit larger, the head's a little bit smaller, and that's not going to pass through. So some, if you're, if you're running some all thread or you have maybe uh, studs in a head with, with nuts on them and they stick up really far, you know, it may be a situation where they're larger than what the pass through is. Uh, but for many of them, it is going to be sufficient in order for the threads to actually pass through the socket and you be able to utilize the pass-through socket with it so that you can actually run the nut off even though there may be 
three inches of stud sticking up above it. And just to give you an idea, on the 15 millimeter, you're looking at uh, 10.4 millimeters on the actual hole size. Yeah, so 10 and a half on the max. Yeah, so the max is right at 10 and a half for the hole size on a 15 millimeter. Okay, if you've seen any of our past cordless ratchet reviews, you know we don't care much uh, for torque, or we really don't think it's a big deal when it comes to torque on a ratchet or on a cordless ratchet. It's not an impact wrench, so busting lug nuts loose is not important to us on a ratchet. We see this as a nut running device. Now, if it will break something free, great, but we just want to know if we manually torque on it, get it broken loose, pull the trigger, and run the nut off. However, they do claim 60 foot-pounds, so let's do a little testing. Uh, we're going to start here at 25 foot-pounds, so we'll torque down these nuts to 25, uh, 35, and 45 foot-pounds. We'll put the insider ratchet on there, see if it will break them free, and then we'll move up from there if it does it. I don't have a lot of confidence that the insider is going to be able to break these free up above, say, 35 foot-pounds. However, they claim 60, so let's find out. And take our torque wrench and we're going to go down to 25. There's 26.4. Go to 35. 36.7. And we'll go to 45. And that's 46.2 loosen and we're just going to brace this and pull the trigger on 25 foot pounds okay broke that free there's 35 make sure we got a little bit of slop there there it broke it free on the third try and now at 45 foot pounds again we'll kind of get in that uh, that neutral area and it broke that free. So if you let it get a little bit of a run in kind of that neutral sloppy area, it typically will break them free. So we're at 45, which I'm a little impressed. Okay, so now we'll go, we'll do 50, 50.3, and let's do 55. There's 55.5, and let's go to 60. 60.4 so again highly doubt that we're going to be able to break these free and we really don't care but for your sake we're going to do it so 50 foot pounds again just kind of that loosey-goosey stage there hey look at there we got 50 let's see if we get 55 nope and this is where in our other testing we hit the snag as well so yeah now Here's what people will say. We'll give it a run and start and put it on there. This is cheating, but I'll do it. Yeah, it broke it free. So 60 foot pounds. Yeah, it broke it free. So NASCAR style, get it running, throw it on there, and it will back those off. But not really seeing it break it free at kind of a static area for 60. But definitely has a little bit, a bit of torque in there breaking free the 25, 35, and 45 foot pounds. You know, if you boil this down, you're really getting all the benefits of a long reach, uh, somewhat high speed ratchet and getting additional features like the pass through design, especially up to 15 millimeter, uh, but definitely getting that low profile on all the sockets, starting from eight millimeter all the way up to the 21. Now you can also adapt your regular sockets as well. So you're really not getting any drawbacks other than the drop in 100 RPM. Now, would I get rid of my extended reach high-speed ratchets? No, probably not. Uh, but would I reach for the insider ratchet first if this was available? Yes, I would. Now, the price on this is $399 for the kit, as you see here, which means it comes with a 2.5 amp hour high output M12 battery. It comes with the M12 charger and the sockets you see here. So that's $399 and a five-year warranty. Now here's the kicker is if you don't get the kit and you step down to the bare tool, which is $299, so you save a hundred bucks. Well, as a, as a non kit or as a bare tool, you lose the battery and you lose the charger. However, you still get the sockets. 
So whether you get this as a bare tool for $299 or $300, or you get it with the kit for $399, for $399, you still get the sockets on either one. So I really like that, that basically you're getting the paired sockets with the ratchet on no matter whether you're getting this as a bare tool or the kit. So 300 bucks or 400 bucks, depending on whether or not you want the battery and charger with it or not, five-year warranty on this. Check it out for yourself. Should hit the market in September of 2023, which is just a few days away. Don't know where in that month it's gonna fall, but you should see it on the shelves. We'll have a link in the description as soon as we have one. So keep track of us on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and even TikTok. And hey, if you don't mind, would you hit that like and subscribe button if you haven't done so already? And by all means, if you hated our video, well, give us a thumbs down. But would you let us know in the comments why? Have a great day and keep smiling.